Chatting with your data is not just as simple as chunking and embedding your text and start chatting with it. So rag is not that simple. What's going on again? Well, listen, let's say you have a bunch of PDF files that they include not only text, but also images, charts, tables, and you cannot chunk them easily and start chatting with them. So it would be challenging to chat with them if they're included in your data sets. That's my point for today. It's okay. You can use a multi-model rack, which will let you embed all those type of different information, even all included in one single file of multiple files and start chatting with them. Hmm. Easy. I see. What? This is the time that you start saying, let's go and you show that the solution, right? Do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, now let's see how we can create a multimodal rag or retrieval augmented generation. Let's make everything simple. Let's say you already know what is rag and you know how to chat with your text data, your documents, or PDF files. I have already created a ton of different videos about how you can improve rag or conduct rag on your documents or start chatting with your data. Or better to say how to connect your data to your LLM, let's say your ChatGPT or GPT model, right? Now the question is, sometimes these documents that you have, let's say on the left side, they are beyond just a text. You might have PDF in your company, your projects, that they include images and tables which are images embedded in your PDF files beside text. Now the question is, if I'm going to chat with my data, maybe the information is about an image that it doesn't have explanations in the PDF. So how is that possible to retrieve a knowledge from my documents, which is image or which is table, without an issue in my rack or chat with your data applications? Well, there are three options, as you can see on the right side, I can discuss them quickly. But long story short, there are two ways that you can get information from images and tables. For the text, easy. We know that LLM understand text and can grab it, chunking, embedding, you know that. But for images and tables which can be stored as image we need to create some information about them to retrieve them later there are two ways you can do that whether you can use some embedding models that they can generate embedding for images let's say clip which is another model that they just generate embedding out of image so when that you have the embeddings from image it's very similar to word embeddings that you have and you create a vector database from a text, right? So embeddings generated by an image embedding model can be later on search and retrieve so you can chat with it. Or another way to do so is that, you know, some multimodal models, they already understand images like GPT-4, GPT-4 Vision or GPT-4 O. So what you can do, you can give these images to these models and ask these models that, hey, generate a summary based on what you see. It says that, oh, I see this and that, this table, this chart, this view, these objects in the image. And now you have a text out of that image. So you can search this text and retrieve this text and retrieve the raw image coming in by the text. So three options going to be left. Uh, option number one, which is here to summarize what it does, is that you use a multimodal LLM, such as GPT-4 Vision, to produce text summaries from images and then you embed and retrieve those texts and pass the text chunks to an LLM to, uh, for answer synthesis, right? Option two here is you use just a multimodal embedding model to embed images like clip so there is no GPT for vision stuff and then you retrieve both using similarity search and then pass the raw image and text chunks to a multimodal LLM for answering. Now for option three, which we're gonna discuss today and run a demo for is, you use a multi-model LLM, such as GPT-4 again, a vision, to produce text summaries from the image. Then you embed and retrieve those image summaries with the reference to raw image, and then we pass the text of these images, the chunks, and the raw image as well to this multi-model LLM model like GPT-4 for answering. 
and for answer synthesis actually. So for running this demo, here I have run this code for a multimodal rag using option three. I just described that. And by the way, this notebook and all the codes, I have added that to the Discord channel. And if you want to access this code that you're going to run, uh, click on the Discord channel link in the video description below. When you open this up, there's a section called Reference Section. Click there and you will see the link to this code. All right, I'm going to pass the libraries that I installed quickly, so certainly you need to have Langchain. I'm using Langchain as an implementation, but the idea would be the same. You can implement it by yourself. It's easy. I'm using Chroma DB for my vector database, but obviously you can have your choice. And of course, you need to have OpenAI. Make sure you add OpenAI key as a variable to run this code. So some other information about images, uh, displaying images like pillow, matplotlib. These are the packages that you need to have, which are added already in the code. Now, what we are doing in this cell, first, I need to extract images, or tables, or let's say PDF elements from the PDF. Now, what PDF I'm talking about? This is actually the sample that I use from Langchain. So let me open up the PDF. This is the PDF, and as you can see, it has almost 26 pages, but it's just beyond text. This is a table, actually, which is an image. This is also a chart. This is another image. So you can see there are a bunch of images and tables stored there, so I need to grab them using just a simple Python parser. Nothing fancy, right? And then I categorize this to say that, hey, these are elements like tables. These are elements like images. And for running this code, I need to give the path that varies my PDF file that I showed you, which is in my local directory. And then some information about how you're going to split with what's going to be the chunk size. These are the stuff you already know. That's all. I ran this, and now that's that's the time to produce table uh, summaries and image summaries and index images using multi-vector retrieval. So here I'm saying that, okay, I am going to define a function to generate text summaries from a given table or image like I showed you. And then of course the prompt gonna ask this to do so as you can see and the model GPT-4, this is just for the tables, not, not images yet. And some information about max concurrency stuff, these are parameters by, by Langchain. And lastly, I generate the text summaries for the tables elements that we extract from the previous cell. Now I'm gonna use GPT-4 Vision to, to do the same thing, but for images. That's why I'm using GPT-4 Vision, which understand images. I'm doing the same exactly thing, but I'm just calling GPT-4 Vision model from OpenAI to run this with the given image path that I have in my local directory. And then for generating image summaries, I need to also add this prompt to say that, hey, these are the images I want to retrieve later, so generate summary out of it. And then I pass this function to the path of the images that I have that I showed you. These are the images technically that I have captured from my PDF file. And I uploaded them all to Google Cloud Collab, so that's how I was able to run this code. And then when I have these summaries and stuff generated from my images and tables, I need to add them to a vector store, right? To be able to retrieve them and chat with them later. So I need to create a multi-vector retriever because I am gonna include summaries of text, uh, just a simple text by itself, table summaries, tables by itself, image summaries, and even raw images by itself, as we discussed. We're going to retrieve that because the model understands images too. It's a multi-model model. And then I'm adding this information here to my uh, vector database with tables, text, and image summaries to Chroma DB with a given name. And then here I have created my retriever so I can call my data from this retriever. And here's I'm almost there to build my RAG retriever. So here are some helper functions to display images, like changing the encoding of the images as needed. This is not a must to have, but this is nice to have for demonstration. And all the way here, I'm defining my latest system message to say that, okay, I have created the rag for this purpose. What is the purpose? You are a financial analyst to provide investment advice, and you're going to receive mix of text, tables, and images. So I'm going to retrieve that using rag. And here's the chain that I specify finally for creating the rack. And I'm giving GPT for vision model because I want to bring raw images as well as I retrieve my knowledge and summaries to the model to return. And when this is ready, I can have the context retrieved from a Chroma DB and the question. So let's give it a try. I said, give me a company names that are interesting uh, investments based on EV and TM uh, revenue growth. Consider EV and TM multiples with versus historical. And I realized that I have four documents retrieved. And I, if I see the image of the first document retrieved, 
there you go that's actually a relevant image talking about EVNTM for companies to invest and for making sure that's the right image we are comparing that with the image that we extracted from PDF which is the same thing so it's pretty reasonable that this image is need retrieved from our query based on similarity of the summary and where is the summary here's the summary so we generated this summary by GPT vision from the table and it used that summary to retrieve the table later so that summary wasn't inside my PDF we generated that to use it to retrieve this table and we do the same thing for image as well so again what was the purpose here the purpose of for me for creating this video was not just teaching you LangChain or teaching you this code I wanted to make sure you understand the concept and idea of how you can deal with images tables beside text and I'm pretty sure you have all this type of information in your unstructured data so when you're dealing with beyond just text you won't get confused there are solutions for the wrap solutions and everything I showed you can be developed from scratch in case needed but Langchain and some open source communities they have well done in wrapping all this so they're all for you there to give it a try and I hope with this demo I was successful to convey the message and show you the order of possibility I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I would be very thankful if you click on like button and make sure you write down your comments and share your thoughts with the community thanks all and we'll see you in the next video the best money is the best away from the money forget the money remember character purpose and team money will come in abundance dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video